In the build-up to a, a derby game like this, do you always notice a, an extra buzz amongst the players and trainers? Um, I think it's something you know everyone looks forward to the the club, the players, the fans. I think certainly with it, it being half term as well this this week, there's been an awful lot of kids waiting outside the gate wishing us luck for for Sunday. So I think a derby game certainly brings a, a little bit more of an edge, but it's, it's one we're all really looking forward to. Um, I wouldn't say there was a, a huge reaction to it. I think whenever a, a new manager comes in, we know there's going to be an uplifting per performance in, and confidence. Um, I think he, he stated he doesn't know particularly much about what he's inherited at, at Birmingham, so I can't see you know a great deal changing in, in the way they're going to play. But I think we're aware of a, a new manager. It will bring in a, a little bit more confidence and, and an uplift. I think so, but I think you know, in a in a derby game, regardless of, of form, that's always always going to be the case anyway. Um, I think you could, we're going to have to, you know, be physical and and um, and compete for the the first time fifteen minutes like we did at at St Andrews. But um, you know, hopefully, once we've done that, we our quality can can come through and we get the result we want. That game in, in back in October was always quite spark, and they always are. But of course, now there's only three games left, and they're yeah, I think I think it does. I think um, you know it's certainly nice to have you know a big game, big game like this to to look forward to coming to the to the end of the season to keep everybody on the on the toes. Um, but yeah, with the position there, and it, it it does add a little bit more edge to it. And it's you know it's been mentioned to us an awful lot by the the fans that we've been speaking to. Yeah, we've been lucky enough a couple of times this season to experience that, and it's been a wonderful atmosphere. Our fans have been, you know, fantastic all season at home and away. But I think certainly in a derby game, it's going to be, you know, even more special. It's been a long season for you, hasn't it? Forty-eight games I think you've played so far. So you're in a pretty good position to just assess where Villa have come during the course of the season. Yeah, it has. It's um, you know, with the the Euros in the summer as well, it's been. A really long season, but um, you know, I came here after a frustrating season last year, not playing much football. So I won't be complaining about the the number of games I've, I've had. It's you know been a, individually a really enjoyable season, which you know seems to have to say with you know wh where we are in the league at the moment. But um, yeah, I've really enjoyed playing for this club. It feels uh, really special every time you play a game for them, and. Um, I think you know we'd all be disappointed with where where we finished up this year, but you know we're, we're on some sort of momentum at the minute, and hopefully we we'll continue that to the end of the season and and take it into next. Joe, it's been hard to motivate yourself for that couple of games. Since the timing happens to a lot of teams, then that's the last hope of achieving our playoff promotion. Dies. Is it natural for players to switch off a little bit? Um, no, I think we you know we spoke. Before the Reading game, about you know continuing the run that we've we've been on and um, you know the the pride in keeping clean sheets that that we have been doing. I think the the game against Reading was a, a difficult one because it was it was very unlike us. Um, in the last seven or eight games, we conceded poor goals and uh, we were real disappointed with that. I think the the Fulham game on on Monday, you know, I come away from the pitch proud of of the effort that the lads have put in, having played 48 hours. Um, previous and being down to, to ten men for for seventy minutes, it was a, a tough afternoon. But you know, we all we all stuck at it, and um, you know, we didn't get the the result we wanted. But I was I was proud of, of what the lads did. I'm not sure your conscious thought. I think particularly about the fact you can help send send Blues down. I'm not sure the fans will be. Yeah, like uh, I just said, it's it's something that's been mentioned to us uh, a lot by the fans this week. But I think for us, we're we're just focused on on our job and, and getting the result we want and. And the fans want.